the death of the chief of the defense forces general francis ogola through an untimely helicopter crash has thrown the kenya defense forces succession matrix into an unexpected and unforeseen spin this death has prompted the Defense Council, also known as Board 1, to congregate and kickstart the process of appointing a substantive CDF. Board 1 is expected to come up with a list of names of people it deems fit to serve as Kenya's next Chief of Defense Forces, which will later be forwarded to the Commander-in-Chief, President William Ruto, for selection and ultimate appointment. The Board 1 meeting this time will rather be complicated because the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, who is also the acting CDF, is expected to sit in the meeting to discuss an appointment that could directly affect him. So help me God. Usually, the Vice CDF does not sit in the Defense Council meeting, but because there is no CDF, he could be forced to sit in the meeting. This, however, could change because of conflict of interest. The death of General Gola brought out the intrigues that go on in the highest office during the appointment of Kenya's top military brass. When it came time for me as Commander-in-Chief, to make a decision on the next CDF, it wasn't an easy decision. This is the first time that a chief of defense forces has died while in office. General Gola had barely served a full year in office considering he was appointed on 28th April 2023. Under normal circumstances, General Gola was set to retire in 2025 upon attaining the mandatory retirement age of 62 years. He was 61 years when he died. Under the rules introduced by retired Chief of General Staff General Daudi Tonje that came to be loosely referred as the Tonje Rules, the position of the CDF is rotated among the Kenya three services of the KDF. General Gola being a member of the Kenya Air Force means automatically the next CDF will come from the Kenya Navy. I call upon Lieutenant General Charles Morio Kaharagi, Vice Chief of Defense Forces. General Gola being a member of the Kenya Air Force means automatically the next CDF could come from the Kenya Navy. However, Having not completed his full term, will the Defense Council, otherwise known as Board 1, advise the President to retain the military leadership under the Kenya Air Force for the remainder of General Gola's term? That's a question many will be asking themselves. And can the senior most Kenya Air Force officer step into General Gola's place? On behalf of all airmen, women, and the entire Kenya Defense Forces, in the meantime, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces Lieutenant General Charles Morio Kahariri is acting as Chief of Defense Forces until a substantive appointment is made because there can never be a vacuum in military leadership and command. But the options open to the President are rife with political considerations, age, rank, and also personal preferences. The current Kenya Air Force Commander John Mugravai Omenda is in the rank of a Major General and therefore his ascension to the senior most position could eliminate him because he is not yet a Lieutenant General. He however could rise to the position if he is immediately promoted to a Lieutenant General and thereafter elevated to a full General. Another leader available from the Kenya Air Force and ready for appointment is Major General Fatuma Gaiti Ahmed. 
As we can all recall, Major General Fatuma is the only Kenyan woman to rise to the position of a general. This means the Defense Council could also be forced to stick to the set rules and recommend a member from the Kenyan Navy for appointment as the next Chief of Defense Forces. Chances are high that the current Vice Chief of Defense Forces Lieutenant General Charles Murio Kahariri could become the CDF. However, this formula does not automatically guarantee that Lieutenant General Kahariri will become CDF. This is because he was just recently promoted from the rank of Major General to the rank of Lieutenant General and has just served in the position for one month. Military sources, however, intimate that by the nature of their training, any officer in the rank of Major General is trained and well equipped to perform the role of a CDF. This complicated situation automatically brings to the matrix the Vice Chancellor of the National Defense University, Lieutenant General Jimson Longiro Mutai. Lieutenant General Mutai, age 56, is better placed to ascend to the position because he is younger than Lieutenant General Kahariri, who currently is age 60 years and could only serve for two years of the full four-year term for the position of CDF. Under the Tonje rules, a general is supposed to retire at 62, a Lieutenant General at 61. That means if Lieutenant General Kahariri takes over, he will retire in 2025. According to highly placed sources, it is believed that the Defense Council could have already sat during the burial preparation meeting of the late General Gola and made the decision on who to pick a CDF but delayed the announcement due to avoid being seen as urgently filling the position during the morning period. Who are you betting to become the next CDF? Let us know in the comment section. So help me God. <laughs>